why the royals don't support the same football team, as King Charles' heartfelt message unveiled. While the royals will be backing England in the Euros 2024 this evening, they don't seem to share same support outside of the tournament when it comes to their different football preferences, here's why. Every football fan across England will be glued to their screens tonight as the national team takes on Spain in the Euro 2024 final. Regardless of the outcome, which we're all hoping will an England victory, we'll soon be returning to our usual divided loyalties, supporting our beloved club teams. Even the Royals are part of this football mad nation, but it's not always clear which clubs they back. You might think King Charles III would go for Fulham or Chelsea. Being close to Buckingham Palace, or perhaps Bristol and Swindon, near his favourite home Highgrove. Yet, His Majesty has surprisingly thrown his support behind Burnley FC. While he does have a castle within an hour's drive from the Lancashire club's home ground, his reasons are more heartfelt. The King said, Burnley has been through some very challenging times and am trying to find ways of helping to regenerate and raise aspirations and self-esteem in that part of the world. My charities have been working there together to demonstrate that an integrated approach can produce the best dividends, reports the Mirror. In a grateful gesture, Burnley FC honoured the monarch with a VIP season ticket and an invitation to enjoy games from the director's box. We often follow in our father's footsteps when it comes to choosing a football club, but Prince William, arguably the most avid football fan in the royal family, opted for a different team that also takes to the field in claret and blue. In a candid BBC interview back in 2015, he revealed his reasons for backing Aston Villa, sharing. A long time ago at school I got into football big time, and I was looking around for clubs. He wanted to avoid the mainstream choices of his peers, who tended to support one of the big four premiership sides looking instead for a team that would provide a more thrilling journey. All my friends at school were either Man United fans or Chelsea fans and I didn't want to follow the run-of-the-mill teams. I wanted to have a team that was more mid-table that could give me more emotional roller coaster moments, he added. Prince William also reminisced about the rich heritage of Aston Villa and a memorable FA Cup match he attended, sharing. Aston Villa's always had a great history. I have got friends of mine who support Aston Villa. And one of the first FA Cup games I went to was Bolton v Aston Villa back in 2000. Sadly, Villa went on to lose to Chelsea. The experience left a lasting impression, as he fondly recalled the vibrant atmosphere among the Villa supporters. It was fantastic, I sat with all the fans with my red beanie on, and I was sat with all the Brummie fans and had a great time. It was the atmosphere, the camaraderie and I really felt that there was something I could connect with. While the Princess of Wales publicly supports her husband's choice, she has hinted at a secret preference for another team. At a charity event, a young attendee reported a shared moment with Princess Kate and claimed. We high-fived because she supports Chelsea and I support Chelsea. I love people who support Chelsea. Perhaps her fondness for the London team was sparked when her parents purchased a flat near Stamford Bridge. Or maybe she inherited her Chelsea preference from her true blue uncle Gary Goldsmith. Now residing in the US, Prince Harry likely refers to football as soccer. 
has been spotted at numerous England matches over the years, but has kept quiet about a club preference. However, during a charity event in New Zealand, the Duke of Sussex was reportedly heard saying that most of the royal family are Arsenal fans. The late Queen Elizabeth II was similarly discreet about her football loyalties, but West Ham supporters have long claimed Her Majesty as one of their own. Indeed, when she presented the World Cup to England and Hammers captain Bobby Moore in 1966, there was a warmth in her smile that suggested she too had chosen a side that plays in claret and blue.